by this is the second um, installment of adding products to 3D Cart. In the first screencast, I went over most of the information tab. Um, I was a little rushed towards the end because I was reaching the five minute mark and uh, didn't really go into what these custom fields are. Uh, I said most of my clients don't use these. It would be if you want to do something like uh, if you're selling t-shirts and you want to put that it's organic and then have all of the all of your organic t-shirts would have this. And it's basically it just lists this at the top of the product page on your site. The something saying that it's organic is something that would easily be you know able to be put into your description instead and most people do that or if you want it to be as an option you can put it you know as an option either organic or regular like I said these are kind of just it but if you put five things in here it would literally be just like a little bulleted list on the product page it doesn't really in my opinion do a whole lot I usually don't even use them and I just click that to hide it so we went over the information tab which is where the most basic information is on our product and then last time I didn't hit save, so let me save that because I had added this here. I'd added categories. So this is where I also wanted to go over the weight. Um, if you're going to be using a shipping method where you want actual, like real time shipping rates to be charged, you will need to enter a weight for your product because that's how shipping rates are determined um, by USPS, UPS, etc. So you would need to put a weight here for that. Um, otherwise, if you're going to be charging shipping based on like the total order amount or you're having a flat rate based shipping or something like that, you don't need to worry about the weight. And like I said, the shipping here, you just leave this blank because the shipping settings will be set up separately. Only if you want to charge a separate shipping cost per item would you put a price here for each item. Okay, so we're done with the information tab. Let's go over to the images tab. This is the main Im product image. This is the main image that's going to show on the page, and then the thumbnail image that's going to show that you would click to get to that page. There's one already in here, but when you let me bring this into view, when you click to upload, you can get it. It go, takes you through the process here, and you can go get a photo. I just double click on it, brings it up here, submit. It'll show you the image and it'll automatically check this little box here it says use this image for thumbnail just keep that checked unless you want to use a separate image for your thumbnail image and hit update product it'll automatically save it and create the thumbnail image and that should be it um, if you have video from YouTube or something that you want to put you can do that as well if you have the URL to the video you can put that in or you can put browse and just type in a, a keyword and then find the, the video on there then you can add video to your um, product page pretty easily. Most of the times, you know, that's not needed. Additional images, if you just have a few more views of this product, you can put those in here. The same thing, you just hit browse, do the same thing, select the new image, and go through the same process that you did to do the main one. If you have more than the three additional images you have here, you can add to the image gallery. And down here, you can hit add new, and hit browse and do the same thing here. What this will do is add a button on your product page that says image gallery. So it'll show the main image, it'll show three little thumbnails of these ones, and then the image gallery is a separate thing where it creates a button, you click it, and it opens up a little flash gallery where people can see a bunch of extra images. And then you're done on this page. Um, once you, you don't really need to save this because once it adds the images and you click to add it, it, it automatically saves everything. But you can go ahead and hit it just to, just to be safe. Um, so that's the image tab, and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory here, but um, we'll do the options tab next. Thanks.